It's going to be a rocky climb once we go up there and head straight to the Goron Mines. But first, let's start climbing and say hello to the Gorons. And they would like to block us by playing a game of rock and roll. Get it? <laughs> Welcome back for more of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess as we are going to continue our story in progress. So this is episode 12. And why not we equip the iron boots right here? And then we got that. So, we're good to go. So, The Road to the Goron Mines is the name of the episode. We need to wear the iron boots so that way we're not going to be pushed aside by the sumo wrestling gorons that would like to roll our way through. I always wanted to be a rock star! Bring it on, Goron! I don't like- I like to see you try to rock and roll on me for once. I always wanted to be a rock star. Ready for ya! Bring it! <laughs> Wear the boot Wear the boots or else you're gonna go nowhere. Oh, yeah, I kind of forgot something. <laughs> uh, silly me. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I... I gotta... yeah. Why not we go learn a technique or two, and then... From that wolf... Why not? It's... I, I kind of... I, I thought I remember something, and then I... Did not. So... For good measure... I gotta go back to Farron Woods and my ridiculous... Uh, uh. That's not the that's wrong way. That's the wrong way. believe I went the wrong way to go. Well, if this is... Um... Yes? A letter? Okay, thank you. May I run funny like yeah. you and become the postman? I love it! Yeah. No! Okay, yeah. I guess it's not gonna suit me. Yeah. 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 Sorry, but I have to yeah. run you over. I ride a horse with this, otherwise I will not be able to get it fast. So, if I'm going to do somewhat of a long episode or somewhat, that is fine by me. Let's see. Oh, ah, 
Okay. So, not there. Let me see where this is going. Let's go, Epona. I know where that golden wolf is at. I don't think it's not far from here. Let's go. Way to, way to go, Epona. This time I'm ready on the horse. But not, but somehow this golden wolf will not stop me while riding on a horse. We meet again. You have a little more of the look of a hero than you did before. Do you, st do you feel ready to earn your next skill? I do. Very well, but before we begin, I must test you to ensure you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the Ending Blow. Now then, come at me! Excellent, it appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well, my second skill is... The Shield Attack. Let it be hewn into your mind. Second skill. No matter how well-tempered a blade is, if a foe is clad in armor and bears a shield, the sword will do it no harm. When placing such a foe, you must lock on with Z and thrust the nunchuck forward to thrust your shield against the defenses of your enemy. Use Z to lock on to me. Then try it. You have learned much. So I am sure you will know the moment when you can do a shield attack. Let's go, swordsman! Nope. There, I gotta bash it with that. Excellent. Open a hole with your enemy's defenses and use your sword to strike without hesitation. The shield attack I have just taught you can also be used to repel an enemy's projectile attacks. Will you practice? Then repel my magical attack with your shield attack. Right now! Uh. Oh! Gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait. And... <laughs> Just gotta wait. Perfect! When your enemies assail you must... They, when they assail you with projectiles, this is how you will defeat them with ease. Done. I've learned the second of my hidden skills, the shield attack. <laughs> the shield attack is now ours. Remember, lock onto a foe and Z with the Z button, thrust and nunchuck forward to thrust your shield. You can also use this to work on projectiles. But I have five more secrets to teach you in time. The path to becoming the true hero is a long one, but once you have grasped of all the hidden skills, you shall be worthy of walking on it. You must persist on the lonely path of the sword to obtain true courage and earn the strength to conquer the great evils of the world. Do not forget your discipline with the blade before we meet again. That he would say such things. Off this way. Once I have enough rupees, I will go from three hundred to six hundred. And. One of my special characters is none other than Agatha, the lovely insect prince, the beautiful insect prince. 
princess, but don't worry, she's a she's a princess of the Bug Kingdom. Because she loves those little golden bugs that I would love to bring to her. I think she's going to be a part of the Ultimate Arkham Universe in one of the Halo games, to be honest, but who knows? Oh, either that, or it can be something else. I prefer something else more than something else, so... Yay! And to make Agatha happy, by the way, Elves live longer than humans, if you want to know. So, think of the elves would live longer the lifespan, I would say, uh, just a little bit longer than a super, than a, than a Saiyan would. Of course, I have been wrong before. In the comment section below, tell me how long uh, an elf's lifespan would last. I just want to know, and that would be an interesting topic. Let's see. Okay. No stopping us this time. It's time to climb up. <laughs> wow, a little over 10 minutes and I've wasted that much. But not to worry. The road to the Goron Mines. Iron boots on! <laughs> nice try, Goron, but you can't defeat me with these iron boots on. Boots on! You ready to rock? I bet you're ready to roll. You're gonna make me rock solid, though. Sick. You really gotta try harder, you know. <laughs> Boots on. Sick. You're gonna have to do better than that if you want to keep up with me! <laughs> Alright. Fire! Fire! Come on! Yes! Shot! Perfect! Ha <laughs> ha! Losers! I'm in Wintersburg, and I mean the mob wins. Too high. Little off. Perfect! Well, why can't I whistle with those? Ah! Get lost, Moblin! At least I gain a heart back. Ready to rock again if those if those Gorons try to do a sneaky one on me. And an active volcano. The Goron mines. That is one big mine to, ch to chuck up.
I see. Hmm. I bet I can make my way through this. Bring it on, Gorons! Tell me about it. This giant chunk of rock almost killed me to death, you know. Thanks for the warning tip, Mitna. Thought I lost myself for sure. And it seems my nightmare is not over because of the uh, this volcanic activity, though. <laughs> Try again! Time to flip over! <laughs> Get under! Just pick up the rock. Got myself a heart. Not get the steam? Not a problem. You're not fighting me. You sure know how to do sumo wrestling, though. If you're calling me brother. How come your how come your your kind is kind of attacking me, anyways? It doesn't make any sense, though. Of sumo. I don't myself know how to take sumo. Up! Just gotta keep on climbing and I'm good to go. Coming along my way? I don't think so. Back! Let me climb up there. 
Hello to the winner's circle! Ah! <gasps> I'm gonna put my boots on. Why? Well, wanna be safe and be sorry. I'm gonna take you all on! Turn off! Is this young one such an imposing enemy that you must all gang up on him? I think not, little brothers. <laughs> Elder, little human, I am called Gorkoro. Because of certain circumstances, I must lead the Goron tribe in place of Darkness, our tribal patriarch. Tell me, little human, do you come from the village below? You have done well to come this far. You are strong for a human. However, the minds beyond here are sacred to my tribe. Outsiders are not allowed unless... Unless what? I could make an exception, but you would have to beat me in a contest of power. Are you willing to try that, little human? Yes. One more time for sumo wrestling! <laughs> he doesn't realize that I'm wearing the iron boots, so I should be fine. But you got to win this match! <laughs> Oh my I try Ah, I got you! Oh! Ah! I should have known! Ah! Oh my! Oh my! Ah! Yes! Off you go! Close! But you almost had me. Young warrior, you have a strong will and sharp eyes. Very much. Fine traits. Want to see how well you can use them. You have seen it, I would bet. The mountain erupting without pause. When the mountain began to rage, all four of us elders and Garbus, our patriarch, went inside to investigate its anger. We have a treasure that was entrusted to us by the spirits, and we must protect it. Do you understand? But the moment Darpus reached out and touched the treasure, everything went wrong. He collapsed and out before our very eyes transformed into an unspeakable monster. He began to rage through the mines, trailing ruin behind him, and the eruptions grew more frequent and more severe. We used all of our strength to seal him deep inside the mountain. It grieved us to do this to our patriarch, but we have no other course of action. I ask this favor of you, young warrior. Go to the aid of darkness. Make no mistake, the spirits have guided you here. 
I, Gorkoron, need your help. On behalf of my entire clan, I ask you for your aid. Hey! You too! Let the young warrior pass! Right now! The mines are full of traps and all placed to protect the treasure from thieves. And worse than traps, since the eruptions began, foul creatures of all shapes have settled into every corner of the mines. Getting to the Patriarch's location will not be easy. I would prepare your blade, young warrior. And we are going to stop here for the time being, and don't you worry, we are going to continue to pick up from where we left off, and thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and tell me what do you guys think of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Do you like it or hate it? Mash that like button or share this video if you guys love hack and slash games or what is your favorite Legend of Zelda game of all time. This is Leo Wolverine saying and speaking as always as your friendly neighborhood spider cop and not to mention who takes chances making mistakes and getting messy like peanut butter and chocolate or breakfast for dinner. When the going gets tough, the job gets it done for a breath of fresh air. And Leo's Let's Plays Alliance, Godspeed, play safe, and shalom. Remember to fight with honor, love, truth, and justice, and see you guys next time for more of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to move some rocks.